Hi, Michelle here from strawdashberry.com. I'm a teacher, I'm a crafter, and I'm a DIYer. And today's video is to help parents understand Google Classroom so that they can help their children. So the first thing that you're going to do is open up a tab and you're going to type in classroom.google.com as I have it up here. And when you go to Google Classroom, you will see all the classes that your child may be enrolled in um, right up here. If you got an email with a join code, there is a plus sign over here in the right hand um, corner for you to put in the code that you got in that email. You might also see that you've been invited to a class somewhere. So if you have, then you go ahead and um, click on that class and accept that invitation. Okay, so um, here's a class that I am actually a student in. Um, it's just some resources for mentors and new teachers. Um, so I wanted to show you there are three main sections of Google Classroom. There's the stream, there's classwork, and there's people. So the stream has everything in chronological order um, with the latest thing being up at the top of the stream. And you can go back um, all year or however long this class has been going. Um, the classwork section Things are organized by topics. So if you want to look for a unit topic or um, in my class, I do like warm ups and exit tickets as topics as well as um, the unit topics. So you can click on any of these and they will take you to that section um, so that you can see the things in those sections. And then the third one is people and that will give you a list of all the students in the class um, as well as the teachers in that class. OK, so. One thing is I normally use stream the most uh, myself. I like the way that's organized just to be able to say, oh, is there anything new? What's the latest? If you see an icon of just the teacher's, you know, grayed out face or their face or something that represents them that they've put there, then that means it's an announcement. There's nothing to do. They're just telling you something. If you have other icons, then there's going to be other icons for assignments and materials like this one here. That's um, a material post. OK, so that might help you a little bit. You can type in something here, depending on if the teacher is allowing that or not, because the teacher can turn it off. But right here, I could send a message and it would go to the stream. And so all of the other all my other classmates would be able to see whatever I post here. On the classwork section, there's a really cool thing called view your work right up here, kind of at the top left. And when you do that, this will have all of the assignments and if it's been turned in, if it's been assigned. Um, so these didn't have due dates, but if they had due dates and the due date was passed, it would say missing. Um, so you can also filter for assigned, returned with a grade or missing. So when you get to an assignment, so let's say I click on this one um, and I want to view the details and I have instructions here. I have a Google Sheets here. I have instructions up here of what we're supposed to do. And then over here is the place where I can do my work on this assignment. So I can click the add or create and if I've already done the assignment, I can add it from my Google Drive or from a file from my computer or if it's something that I've done online that I can put a link to, then I can link to it. If I haven't done the assignment yet and I'm about to do the assignment, then I can pick one of these, either docs, slides, sheets or drawings. So if the assignment is to create a document with all of your answers in it, then I would hit docs. And it's going to create that document for me and open it up. It might take just a second or so. And then I have this document where I can fill it out and do my assignment. And then when I'm done, there will be a turn in button right here. Or I can go back to Google Classroom and hit the turn in button here. 
Um, there is a section here for private comments. So anything that I type here will go just to the teacher and not to anybody else. Um, and so if you need to ask a personal question, you know, um, about your grade or something, then you could always type that in there. Now, the other thing is sometimes a teacher will have an assignment. Um, let me show you here. So if I go to classwork, and I don't have any students in this classroom, so it's going to be a, a, a little bit harder. But if I go to create an assignment, and actually, let me go back to that for just a second. Okay, so as a teacher, when I go to create an assignment, I have, I can create an assignment, I can create a quiz assignment, which is just a Google form. Um, I can do a question, which is just, they answer right on Google Classroom, their answer, but these are the icons for these different things, materials um, and all. And so if you see one that says question, that's not a very long thing. You just have to answer right there on Google Classroom. Okay, so back to creating an assignment. If I create an assignment, so I say test assignment, and I put the instructions in it, do this, ah, oops, do this worksheet, okay? And then I want to add something from my Google Drive. Now, I have the choice here that I can have the students just view this and look at it. It might be my instruction sheet. Or I can have it that the students can edit it, which means all of them would be editing it. Um, so that would be something you could do in group projects. Or I can make a copy for each student. And if I do that, then that would be like handing them a worksheet and saying, fill out this worksheet and then turn it in. They would do this worksheet and then that's what they would turn in as they do it. So you can see there is a place where I can give it a topic and I can give it a due date um, so that the students will know what to do. That is really kind of it on Google Classroom for parents to help their students. I would really recommend that you sit down with your child, help them log into Google Classroom, see what their assignments are and work with them. Of course, if they're older, if they're high school age, maybe just checking on them a couple of times a day um, to help teach them responsibility in doing this type of thing themselves would be good. Um, but definitely with the younger kids, you know, sit with them, see what the assignments are, check them out, and really um, try to help them as best you can with those assignments. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and tell all your friends. Toodles!